It's slightly weird watching YouTube in Germany and the adverts are in German. Oh, well, of course they would be. A minute ago I had the Wix advert. I mean, the Wix advert is annoying anyway, but then to get it in German, yeah. Now normally, I, when I've come to Germany before, came here to do, look at the class 700s, and then the 707s, I'll put links here, or in the description. I always used to come just in the afternoon, used to fly out in the morning, and only went to Wildernath, which is the test track. Uh, because I came out yesterday, did the flight yesterday, stayed overnight this morning, we've come to the Krefeld manufacturing plant. So this is where they actually build the trains before they then, I say, ship them, rail them. which are just left plain silver, they're just the aluminium bodies. I think GTR should do it here, they've got a great opportunity here just to have the plain aluminium body. But apparently no, they're gonna, they're gonna paint it. Gotta go inside. This is the configuration for maximum passengers, no seats. You can get a lot of standing people in. Obviously they're gonna put in seats. Just about to go on board this train for a look round. I want to introduce Gerard, is it? Hello. Yeah, what, what's your job title? I'm um, uh, Vice President for Projects. He's really important, but the most important thing you need to do right now, just to entertain me, is that last night at dinner, we were doing English to German translation, and you told me what the German for PPE is. So what's the German for PPE? It's, it's personal perso protective equipment. It's Persönliche Schutzausrüstung, and he thinks that's very funny. It's a normal word for him. But it just says uh, it's a great German word. <laughs> The sun's come out, lovely. We're at Wildenrat. This is the test track. I've actually got to be careful not to get certain. <laughs> I'm being told off by PR not to get certain trains in, in shop. Welcome to Siemens. In the store, this is the new class 717. Let's have a look. We're on board the new class 717 DeZero trains for the Moorgate line. Uh, let's go and find a vantage point down here. We can go and uh, have a discussion. Okay, so things to note. First of all, I'm on Zug number five, train number five. So. They're Siemens built trains. We've made videos before for the class 700 Thameslink and the 707s which went to Southwest trains, although they'll move somewhere else. Things to note though, firstly, they're, uh, they're six cars long. Uh, there's no brake in the middle, there's no like three, cab three. It's cab, six carriages, three. There's gonna be 25 units in total. There are no toilets on board, no toilets. So there are toilets on board the Thameslink 700, for example, but and there's a sign over there. There is Wi-Fi and there are plugs. Something that's on the Thameslink train, the plugs are only in first class unless they get uh, retrospectively fitted in standard class. But here, I can see it. There's a plug in between every standard class seat throughout the whole train. And again, it's of that design where you're meant to be able to get like two people here so that if someone is standing, someone can still come past or two people can stand. So the central aisle is quite wide. Now, the cool thing is, the front of the train. <laughs> it's been described as Ninja, it's been described as Transformers, 
Uh, I think it's a bit like um, like Star Wars. I would imagine Darth Vader coming down the ramp. Because the trains have to go through the tunnels through Drayton Park, Essex Road, Old Street to Moorgate, you need an emergency way to exit the train. So this was the, the thing which they did, is that they took this design and the cab, and we'll go in the cab in a minute, is slightly different. There's this amazing, ready for this? It goes like this. You press a button and steps come down. In fact, it looks a bit like this. <laughs> so apparently I have somewhat of a reputation here at Siemens. Uh, we got here just now and straight away one of the engineers went, ah, you're the gentleman who lay on the floor on our, on our Tenzing train to measure it. And that's exactly what I did. And I'm just going to check that, yeah, I think it's the same length. The doors are the same. Priority seat. Nice. There's also luggage space up top. Have I taken it for a spin yet? Um, I, you know how sometimes people camp out at Apple stores for yeah. new iPhones and they get people to sit in line for them? Yeah. So I've got Silke, the, the PR person for Siemens, she's, she's holding my place <laughs> whilst I take shots. It's like she's queuing for an iPhone, but yeah. And you've said you're not leaving until you've driven it. I'm not leaving until I've driven the train. <laughs> Yeah, they're very smart trains and they're on time and uh, they'll be in service later on this year and, uh, and uh, the passengers will see a step change in, in their benefits for, um, for receiving them. Uh, we'll be delivering them through to the UK in the middle of June, there'll be some more testing in the UK and then the first unit will be accepted towards the end of August. So yeah, these are amazing trains, um, much higher capacity than the, than the trains that are on the network currently. Versatile interiors, fully um, rail vehicle accessibility uh, compliant with, with passenger information systems, areas for wheelchairs, uh, bicycle storage areas. Huge, huge change from, from what we've got at the moment. It's incredibly exciting for GTR and our customers. It completes our massive cascade program through the franchise. So by the time we've introduced the class 717s, there'll be over two and a half thousand uh, vehicles will have cascaded in and out of our franchise. That's a huge, huge transformation for our passengers, huge transformation for our routes. And this fleet introduction will be the culmination of all of that. So that's kind of it from Vildenra, Siemens, new class 717 trains coming later this year on the Moorgate branch. <laughs>